As we mentioned, today's conference was hosted by the Belize Bar Association and was based on the issue of the territorial referendum. It is an issue that has been going on for generations and for many, it is one that has been taken for granted with the mentality that it will just go on and on for generations to come. Dr. Asad Schumann, who has been involved in the negotiations for years, however, is very much concerned and is urging citizens to wake up and realize that things are getting worse. I think that the Belizean people have to wake up a little more. They, they don't seem to realize that we have an imminent threat. Things are getting worse. The, the SARS-2 is just, just uh, sort of the tip of the iceberg of what can happen if we don't have an international presence. Now the OAS office is there as a result of the facilitation process. The OAS office will not stay there if they don't see an end to this thing. And they are running out of funding. And the funding comes from international uh, bodies and from governments that have faith that this thing is going somewhere. If they feel that it's going nowhere, either because of Guatemala or Belize uh, positions, then we will lose that presence. And you can see, you can, you can criticize the OAS and what they do, you can agree with them. It's like maybe like somebody was saying to me, the police, you know, we always have grudges against them, but we don't want them to disappear, all right? Now I'm saying, understand that these people are not there. The international thing is not gonna be there forever. This thing is urgent. It's not something we can put on the back burner. One of the complaints that Belizeans have had regarding the matter is what has been perceived as weakness on the part of Belize's foreign minister. But according to senior counsel Eamon Courtney, it is difficult to pass judgment as we do not know what occurs within meetings. Courtney did reiterate Schumann's comments as they relate to taking back the situation and dealing with what is going on on the ground. I mean, we don't know what happens behind closed doors. So what the foreign minister says outside may appear to you to be weakness. He may be very strong and aggressive inside, so I don't know. What should we be doing to step up the game? I agree with Assad that we need to take back the agenda, but what does taking back the agenda mean? Taking back the agenda, to my mind, means dealing with what is happening on the ground. There are security threats in the Sarastone and on the western border. There is serious contraband. There is serious trafficking in person, trafficking in drugs. De de degradation of the forest, those are the things that need to be dealt with and we need to deal with them aggressively. Do it aggressively with the support of the international community. So internationalization too, to me, means that we want to have a negotiations that lead to the ground, what is really happening, what is affecting people's lives, uh, improving. That is what is a precondition in my view for a resolution, however that resolution may be either juridical or I mean, it's probably hopeless by, by negotiations. It is an old dispute that has been hanging over our heads for decades, with several courses of action proposed and presented to our Guatemalan counterparts, but none of it has ended in a resolution to the matter. So, who is to blame for the delay in a definitive solution? We asked Dr. Schumann, who had been involved in the negotiations for quite some time. Guatemala. They are the ones that, that have been prevaricating. They are the ones that have been signing agreements and then breaking them. Belize has been impeccable in its, in its, its actions. Schumann went on to speak on the territorial volunteers and how the government responds to their actions. I understand very well when the foreign minister says it has to be careful about the, you know, these volunteers going along the border, crossing the border, etc., because they could be in danger. I understand that because it's government's duty to, to protect people and doesn't want to put people in danger. But I don't understand if you say because that is an area claimed by Guatemala. Because up to the Cebun is claimed by Guatemala, so we're not supposed to go anywhere south of the Cebu? No. We, please don't go there unless you go with protection because you might get hurt and so on. But don't refer to any claim. That land is our land and people have a right to be there, but we also have to protect them. You know? But the, the importance of doing something which the government has promised to do, which is in effect to colonize the western frontier, it's a wonderful idea. Let's get it done. 
As it relates to the issue at the Sarstone Senior Council, Eamon Courtney has commended our security forces and did shed some light on the construction of the forward operating base. I think it's a bit unfair to, to characterize what has happened in the Sarstone as a loss. As far as I have been able to see, at every step of the way, the Belize Defence Force has made itself present and has confronted the Guatemalans. Yes, there's a talk about them being speeding away, etc. The point of the matter is the BDF has, within its mandate, as far as I can see, been discharging its responsibility insofar as the Sarastone is concerned. And, the, so Coast Guard, uh, and, and the, Coast the Coast Guard. Uh, insofar as the forward operating base, the Brigadier General tells us that the reason it is being built out of wood and the way it is is because of the terrain in which it is placed. We obviously would like to see a stronger building and a bigger presence there. But I think these are small things that are being done that must be done and must be continued. What needs to happen is an agreement between Belize and Guatemala as to how to ensure that tensions do not occur in the South Stone. That can only be done through negotiations with the support of our international friends. And I think this is the type of thing that Assad is talking about when he says we need to take back the agenda. We need to ensure that we can have an agreement that says the South Stone is ours, as defined, has historically been defined and has been used by us. And to have a mechanism to resolve any disputes or differences that arise from time to time along the South Stone River. The conference by the Belize Bar Association is an annual event geared at keeping its members informed.